Hey, hello guys. Um, this is just a short video to address a little problem that a friend of mine was having. And um, you can see I'm with him on Skype, so it won't be anything like uh, illegal or anything like that that I'm doing here. This is something that I've been given permission to do. This is basically a technique that you can use to, cap uh, to grab um, streamed uh, files that are on the internet, such as... Um, streamed video or streamed audio so you can go to almost any audio streaming site and some uh, video streaming sites and you should be able to do this and find uh, exactly the video or audio file uh, that you want to get and download it to your computer so basically the problem that my fri a friend had was that he had this Wix page that he made a long time ago and he uploaded all sorts of audio sounds and yeah, all his songs there and uh, he stopped using the page a long time ago but he lost all the files luckily in a way he had a backup of all his files but he can't figure out a way to download them so right now I'm using um, I'm using Google Chrome I'm on a Mac this should work uh, Chrome uh, on Windows 2 and basically what you do if you want to capture the audio uh, you just need to do something simple you need to go to the developer tools so there are two ways you can do that first of all you can go to view developer and choose uh, developer tools or as you can see here it's uh, alt command i so i'm just going to use the short key because on uh, windows i think that would be uh, Alt Control I. Right, so I hit the key, and you see it opens this up. So usually, what you will see when you first do that is this. You just see a whole bunch of code. But what you want to do is you want to change the network tab uh, over here, where it says Network. You know, um, basically, um, you don't have to change the network tab straight away. But what's most important is you open this, and then you refresh your page. So we're going to do that right now. We're going to reload the page. This is a don't reload, but we want to reload it. So reload the page. And then you see all this stuff coming through. So basically what all this stuff is uh, are the files that are being downloaded to construct whatever site. You see they're like XML files and Swift files and all sorts of things because it's a flash page. So you've got a lot of Swift stuff coming down. So once it's finished downloading and rendering out the page, and this is no longer an X to indicate that you can uh, you can stop uh, the rendering of the page, and now it's a reload button that means it's complete. You now have access to seeing what was what's going to be downloaded to the computer. So what you do is you go to my files, music because he wants to download some of his audio files, right? And we're going to try and capture this audio file called uh, turn it so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on turn it but I'm going to be keeping my eyes focused on what's happening down in the developer tool area so I click and then you can see some new stuff has come through and right here you see some long file name mp3 this is the audio file so I think what's supposed to happen here is that once you've created this little audio module then you can press play and this is just preparing that uh, you can actually listen to the audio but what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to open the link in a new tab and once I've done that I've got the audio coming straight down to the computer right I'm downloading it straight because that's what streaming is it's basically just downloads to your computer and then your computer uh, reproduces the file in the format that it should be in this case audio so it uses the audio drivers to generate the sound and once I have it down here I can say file save pages and you can see it's that long file name mp3 but what we want to do is I think the song was called turn it up so we'll change that to turn it up and then we save and you see it's downloaded and we can go show in finder 
And sure enough, if we preview, right the board now. Yes, we're done. And that's how you download the audio from a streaming site. And I think you can do the same with Firefox, can't you? Yeah, let's try that with Firefox, right? Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to say tools, and I'm going to use Firebug instead you know there is um there is a developer tool for uh, firefox but i like to use uh, firebug so i open up firebug and then you see the same story down here and all the source code for the site and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to reload and say i want to leave the page right automatically we suddenly have a reloaded page and we want to see everything that was downloaded you see I changed to the network tab then it shows you everything that was downloaded uh, uh, to create uh, the web page and once again I'll go to my files music you can see downloads what it's doing here when I open that tab it was downloading all these other small images and icons and so on so we're going to say we'll download the 905 once we click that keep our eyes open and then we see the link right here we right click that and in this case we say copy location and open a new tab we paste that in hit enter All you have to do now is save the page and I believe it was called the 905 or something like that. So and dot mp3. You hit save. There you go. Show that in Finder. So basically, that's how you capture streamed media from the net. Thank you for watching.